Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. Hey everybody, I had a sticky lawnmower cable yesterday and I uh, got my little trusty uh, cable luber tool out to do this and then I realized, you know what? I've never actually showed you one of these things before and how they work, so I thought we'd do a video on this. It'd be a quick video. Um, a lot of you know what this is, I understand that, but I guarantee you there are a lot of people out there that have never seen one of these before, don't even know they exist. So I'll show you how this works. Uh, lawnmower cable right here, that's the top end, this goes down like that. Now just so you know, you don't have to take the whole cable off to do this. Just take the top end off. I pulled the whole cable off just to make it easier for me to demonstrate this to you. So what you do is you take that, uh, the top uh, piece that clamps onto your handle right there and you can unscrew this. Unscrew it all the way off. And then it's going to slide up the cable away from that plastic sheath like that. Now you can fit this little tool on there. Super easy to do. In between that piece you just unscrewed and the plastic sheath just on that braided cable itself, you get that braided cable in there through the little slot and that silicone insert in there. Now, what you do is you slide that uh, plastic sheath in there until it stops. There's a little stop there, right there. Thumb screw right there. You just screw that in so it's tight. And now it's clamped that silicone down onto the outside sheath. Actually, I have a link right in the description of this video and in the pinned comment. You can go back and check these little tools out. They're super inexpensive. Um, the one that I have linked is one of these ones that just have the, the one thumb screw on there. If you, if you click on that link and then scroll down, you'll see a bunch of other ones that are very similar. Some of them have two screws, thumb screws. This one works absolutely fine for me. Now we got that clamped on there. Now you see this has a little hole in it right there. That hole is for your lube spray with that little red tube. That little red tube fits right in that hole. It'll fit in there nice and tight. There you go. Now you simply just start spraying the lube in there and it forces the lube down the cable until it starts coming out the other end. Here we go. Boom. Now you can see that starting to drip out. That didn't actually take that much. Red tube out. And take your clamp back off. That inside cable pulls back out of there like that. And screw that piece back on. Now that whole cable, that whole outside plastic sheath here is full of lube. And see that already, this one was actually not that sticky, but wow, that, that really helps. I mean, check this out. I mean, that's awesome. Sometimes they're really, really seized up really good and there's rusty in, rust in there and you'll see rust dripping out the other end. Do I have anything else to say about that? I don't think so. I'm gonna just say cheers and <laughs> Steve out.